Hey guys, and welcome to Learn with Diva. Today, I'm going to tell you a story. A story about a boy named Carl Goss. One day, when he was in elementary school, all the kids in his class were jumping around, having fun, not listening to the teacher. So then, the teacher, to keep them busy, said, Everyone, can you please find the sum of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 100? The teacher thought that'd keep them busy for an hour or so. Carl, in about a few minutes, raised his hand to say he was done. The teacher was astonished. How did he do it so quickly? Well, that's what we're going to learn in this video today. Not exactly his technique, but we're going to find an easier way to do the digit, to sum the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 100. So let's get started. When I heard about this problem, I was like, how hard can it be? It's just adding. So let's try it out. So one plus two is three. Three plus three is six. Six plus four is 10. Well, no wonder the teacher thought this would keep kids busy. It's taking so long. So now let's try a new technique. I don't know how Carl did it, but we're gonna do it using sticky notes. Yes, I finally caught it. Okay, using these sticky notes, I'm gonna make two shapes. Then we're going to count the number of sticky notes in each shape. Let's see which shape we can count faster. Okay, let's go. Now, let's count the number of sticky notes in each shape. There's shape number one and shape number two. So let's count shape number one first. One plus two is three. Three plus three is six. So there are six sticky notes in this shape. Now moving on to this shape, shape number two. Shape number two is a square, so we can simply do three times three. That'd be nine. So there are nine sticky notes in this shape and six sticky notes in this shape. Which shape do you think was easier to count? You probably said this one, shape number two. Why? Because in shape number two, we did multiplying. And in shape number one, we did addition. As we all know, multiplication is way easier than repetitive addition. And that's the problem we're trying to solve here because in our problem, we're doing one plus two plus three all the way to 100, and that is repetitive addition. So what we really need to do is in this shape, we need to fill in these spaces. So it looks similar to this shape where we can multiply and multiplication as we learned is way easier than addition. So do you have any ideas how we can fix this shape? Let me give you a hint. Now we have the same shape twice, double the problem. What if I combine this shape and this shape together? Let's try. So how should I combine them? I have one idea. I could take this whole shape, flip it, and place it over here in the missing gaps. Let's try that. Now this totally looks like a multiplication problem. We just multiply now. One, two, three times one, two, three, four. So that means there are 12 sticky notes here. But we did double the shape. That means we need to do half again. So that means the answer is 12 divided by two, which is six. Six is the answer we got in the first shape over here, right? So that means this technique works. Now, how can we use it with such a big problem like one plus two plus three all the way to 100? There are two things to remember while using this technique. Number one, when you're doing this technique, you're making another copy of the shape, turning around and putting it with the shape. When you do this, it'll add an extra column here. So you need to remember, if you have three rows, then it won't be three times three, it'll be three times four. Similarly, if there were four rows, then you took a copy of it, added it here, there would be five columns here. So it'd be four times five, not four times four. 
the same thing if there were five uh, rows, then there'd be six columns. Number two, you need to remember that you're doubling the shape. So when you're done multiplying, you need to divide it by two again to get the correct answer. Now it is time for 100 numbers. Well, obviously I'm not gonna use 100 sticky notes here. So let's try to imagine what it'd be with 100 rows. So if we were doing this one all the way to 100, there'd be one sticky note, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 100, right? Then we would double that shape and place it on top. Now we need to count the number of sticky notes in the whole shape. So, there are 100 rows, because we did 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to 100. That means there are 100 rows multiplied by 101. Why 101? Because of rule number one. When we copy a shape and put it with the original shape, then we get one extra column over here. So it'd be 100 times 101. That is very simple because 100 has two zeros that we can add in the end. So the answer is 10,100. Wait, but that's not the answer. We need to remember rule number two, which is in the end you need to divide it by two because in the beginning you multiplied it, you copied it, and put it to the original shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 10,100 divided by two, which is very easy. It's 5,050. So we did it! Yay! I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned this nice technique. And now you can do 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to 100 or even 1,000 or million. It applies to any number you want. For more math videos, please subscribe to my channel and keep learning! That's an L. <laughs>